What's up, guys? I'm Mark with Redfish. Uh, Red. guys and welcome back to another episode of Redfish Blue Tail. I'm Mark. Today we're out on the Stono River. Uh, just a beautiful day in Charleston. 71, 72 degrees. Clear skies as you can see. Uh, went out yesterday with my buddy. Got on some shrimp and some reds and some uh, trout. So just kind of had that itch to get out of here and see if I can't target some reds or trout today. Here's my plan. I don't have one. Uh, what I'm going to do is just kind of hit some docks along the way. Hit some creek mouths and uh, just kind of show you guys what's there. Uh, I have caught a few fish around here, so I do know a few spots where I can start, uh, but I don't really have a plan. I mean, you can see the water's calm, no wind really. We didn't get a little sunburn today. All right, stay tuned. All right, guys. Well, there's the main creek there. I saw this little creek mouth. I pulled in, and we're in seven feet of water right here. I have a feeling there may be some trout hanging around. is going this way right now. I'm gonna try to get on this side of the piling. Just throw, kind of throw it towards them. Usually this current is ripping pretty strong and today it's not very strong. Um, it's just kind of an easy going current. You can barely even see it on the back side of those, those pilings. So it's about 11 feet here, probably about eight feet there. Just gonna cast in there a couple times uh, and then make my way down river, uh, maybe a couple docks. Uh, I tried that creek, nothing. So uh, just keep searching for them. Just kind of get up in there and let it kind of come back with the current by the pilings. <laughs> Can you guys see it? Stuck on the wall. Just like I wanted it. It's kind of, maybe everything's kind of hanging in this little back current side. This water can be a little muddy, so I'm gonna throw on a shark, a bright chartreuse too, so that the visual strikers can smash it. So I found some rocks here. My grub just came back like something had been pulling on it. So maybe there's something floating over here. Something's tapping me. Right about, oh yeah, there we are, okay. It's small. Let me see if this guy can get him. Oh, there we are. Feels like a trout. Nice trout. Okay. Boom. Beauty. I strike weedless. Just switched it up. You guys saw me do that. They were nipping at the other one. I crushed this guy. Brrr. 
All right, let's try that again. <laughs> that was pretty wild. You guys saw that. I was fishing that, uh, it's actually right here. This is the Texas high jig and it kept coming back like, like that. It kept coming back looking like that. So I switched up to this, just a different uh, grub and he hammered on that first one. They're just kind of hanging about 15 yards off those rocks over there. Let me go see if there's a school because I've been skunked all day until right now. All right, guys. So I caught the first fish and I showed you that. And I actually thought I was recording, but I caught two more fish on back-to-back -back casts. So I went three for three. I mean, literally three casts in a row, three fish. The rocks are right over there. I'm going to go back and see if we can uh, catch some more because they seem to be schooled up in one area. I mean, I literally can bring the line through it and bam, fish on. Let's go. All right, I got a stick pin. I got a stick pin in. I don't know if I'm too close right now, but <laughs> we'll see what happens. Wind kicked up a little bit, and I definitely can't fight the wind without a trolling motor. Oh man. Oh, it came loose. Bummer. I don't know what that was. Man, that was a bummer. All right, there's something. This is shaking like a trout. Nope. Well, they be red. Killed that Texas eye. This little puppy drum. All right, finally got him unhooked. I actually think that may have been what I just hooked up into right there, but just moved down the bank. That guy hit it hard, man. That was awesome. Got some weight coming in here. See you, bud. what I got him on right there. All right. Oh man, I don't know how I set that hook right. Maybe foul hooked?
found the trout again. Mmm. Hmm. Set it so hard it put the set it so hard to put the tail through the hook. Ow. There we are. All right, guys. All right, guys, so that puts me at uh, four trout. You've seen two on camera, and because I, I had those three back-to-back -back rockfish and one little small redfish right off all these rocks. The current's going this way, so it's gonna create a little bit of an eddy right here. It's just gonna bump around those rocks, gonna bring the bait there. Uh, I mean, as soon as I cast in here that first couple times, the trout were just nibbling on me. Uh, that's pretty cool though, man. Stay tuned. I came back, I knew they were near that tree. They seem to be they seem to be further off the bank than I thought they were. Yeah. I'm just glad I found them again. I didn't think they'd left. They're just more so closer to us than they are to the bank. Unfortunately, the wind's coming from that direction. It got picked up for a minute, but the wind seemed to have laid down. Ooh, that's bright. All right, guys, well, I've got uh, four trout so far. I think I got two of those, two on camera and one red so far. I'm gonna move over here to these rocks and stuff and uh, just kind of, I'm just exploring this this river. I mean, I just, I just got a boat recently and uh, I've been fishing out of a kayak for so long that I've been in very small creeks. Uh, I'm kind of fishing bigger water now. I'm just getting used to all that stuff, so. Today was just about come out here, go throw a line at something that you've seen and thought there could be a fish there. And there we go.